Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to dive into Tinkercad circuits. So let's get cracking. So the first thing we want to do is we want to name our file. We're going to call this LED1 and put our initials on it. When you're inside here, the first thing I want to mention is that this is where the wire colors are. I've made a lot of lessons and the wires are over on this side. So I'm hoping that this first lesson is going to get us all straightened away. So even when we switch, you'll still know where to find them. Over here are our components. We are going to bring a few out. The first one I want you to bring out is a breadboard. This is where we can plug in our components. I want you to know there's a red, which is the positive power. There's a minus, which is the negative power. And then these are where all the components get connected. Our first component is an LED. When you bring this out, I want you to set it down. All right, friends, so I want to run this using a push button. So let's bring a push button out. And I like to put the push buttons here in the middle so they split the sides. So friends, we're going to take our LED which has a cathode and an anode. We're gonna attach the cathode to the negative rail. So all we do is click below it, so we're going one down, and we go over to anywhere on this negative rail. Now negatives are usually black, so we're gonna change the color to black. We're gonna right now connect the positive side to our switch. So what I want you to do is click down here in the middle where there's a gap, and see then it bends and we can connect to this side and we can switch these to red. Now we need the other side, so we're gonna go above the push button, see how there's these little legs, and we're gonna connect it to the positive as well. So we have just created a circuit. Now this is gonna be kind of fun because we're gonna blow things up, but it's also gonna teach us how to do this the correct way when we're done. So now let's bring out a battery. I want you to change it to two batteries, find the positive, and connect it to the positive. Notice we're staying with red. Now we're gonna to go to the negative side and notice I'm bending this just to show you how. You can drag and make these look a lot nicer when you're done. So you can make your circuits look really fancy. And I'm gonna switch it to the black. Now right now we have more power than this LED can probably handle. If you hit start simulation, it explodes. They show you that we exploded our project. Well, we're gonna fix that real quickly by pulling this back over here. And we're gonna insert what's called a resistor. Resistors limit current. When you bring this out, it is aimed the wrong way. We're gonna rotate it with this little guy right here. Now we can click somewhere else and grab it. And we wanna make sure it's first leg is on the leg of the switch. And I was just lucky, but now this leg is also connected in here. If you hit escape and cancel out and then click the resistor, you can see that we have a one kilo ohm resistor. I wanna change it just to ohms and I wanna make it 100. Now when we hit play and we press the button, your LED will light up. If you click on your LED, you can change its colors. And friends, you have just built your first circuit. That's how easy it is to play with Tinkercad circuits. So friends, in my classroom, this is gonna be a show me, and here is what your job is. I want you to make a second circuit out in this area with a second LED, and this time I want you to use this switch. Now the big thing you need to know with this switch is instead of these corners, you work from the middle, which is called the common, and you use terminal two. All right, friends, so your second project is to use this switch to create a second LED on this side as well. Now, friends, when you use this one, the common is in the middle, so you're gonna have one wire connected there, and then you're also gonna use terminal two. This is how you're gonna make the switch work instead of how this push button was on these two spots. But I want you to be able to call me over and have two lights that you can click and click and make them turn on and turn off. Plan on adding a second battery out here and plan on using this positive and negative rail to keep everything separate as you create this cool little project. Friends, just remember you need a resistor. I do want your wires colored even though the color of the wires does not change the function. I just like it because it's easier for us to see. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching
Have a great day.